Hi guys, today I introduce you to about a hundred dollar electric skateboard. The cheapest way you can convert your existing skateboard into a electric skateboard. So this is my old deck, all right, and inside I've got electric skateboard controller, battery, and I've got a single hub motor. So I paid uh, 80 bucks for the single hub and the controller and the battery uh, about 25 bucks so a little bit over 100 bucks of course the battery box you'll have to spend additional money it's not going to be more than like 10 bucks uh, of course you'll have to use your own deck your wheels and trucks i'm not including in the cost but for the hub battery box battery and the controller it's going to cost you about 100 and a little bit over 100 bucks all right 120 something like that but depending on how you make the battery box and whatnot now let's go ahead and try my hundred dollar uh, uh skateboard this is a prototype that's why i didn't screw it in don't mind the duct tape this is a prototype i'm still working on the final version uh, i've been working on different versions so that's why i didn't want to screw it down and that's why it's duct taped but let me give you a first ride with this $100 electric skateboard. Hi, right, ready guys? Startup is a little bit slow. I'm on a full advanced mode, but it'll, it'll get going. So top speed, I would say maybe I don't know, 12 miles per hour, 13 miles per hour. I'll do a, a speed test here in a bit. But it, it's super loud. It's not too bad. This is at full speed. That's full braking. So for a hundred dollars, it's not too bad. And I can also go reverse, just simply hitting the button. Now, braking is a little bit slow, um, so not too bad for a hundred bucks. Uh, something I'm working on right now is, uh, so the, the ESC is basically the skateboard controller, the motor controller, and it uses a really cheap one, so it's not actually able to utilize the full power of the motor. Uh, my next goal is use a better ESC and try to get more out of the motor, and I should be able to get it much faster. Uh, but for right now, I'm pretty satisfied with a hundred dollar electric skateboard. Let me do a uh, speed test real quick. Okay, we're gonna do a miles per hour, uh, the fastest fastest we can do. Let's go ahead and try it. So I'm zero miles per hour. Ready, set, go. I'm at five, seven, six, seven, nine, about 9, 11. I'm gonna go a little fast. I'm gonna go at full speed now. Slightly downhill. Going full speed. 13 miles per hour, 12. Let me slow down here. All right, here we go. Now I'm on flat ground. Uh, so we're doing about 10 miles, 11 miles per hour. This is completely flat. 11, top down, 12, 13, 13. And completely.
please stop. So maximum speed, 13 miles per hour, not too bad. Anyway guys, um, I'm still working on this, and again, this is just a prototype, and uh, I'm going to have to use some better parts, but for right now, uh, you can convert your existing skateboard for 100 bucks, and this would be great for like commuting and stuff, like if you're on flat ground, this would be a total great little commuter for 100 bucks. really light I'll have to go measure at home but it's literally maybe like six or seven pounds yeah no no more than seven pounds here really light Now this I'll have a full tutorial on my other new channel, um, Dr. E Skateboard. When my final version is done, this is just the cheapest, absolute cheapest way you can make a skateboard. Um, also, if you mass produce it, I'm sure you can get it for like 50 bucks. But yeah, but uh, not too not too bad. Um, subscribe to my other channel if you guys want to see tutorials soon. Um, I should have a final prototype in the next couple weeks. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys.